Okay, class. So let's start with our economics chapter, chapter four, globalization and the Indian economy. Okay. So first, let's see what is globalization. Globalization means is a process wherein rapid integration or interconnection between countries are there. So this is the meaning of globalization means there is a connection, there is a rapid integration between two or more different countries. There is one more way through which we can say that countries are becoming closer, that is with the movement of people between different countries. Not only import and export of things, not only business, but movement of people from or between two or more countries is also a concept of globalization. Okay. People they usually move from one country to another country in search of job or for better education, and then they reach there, some people they visit their permanent residence over there, some they come back. So whatever, the movement which they do from one country to another country in search of job or education, that process is known as globalization. Okay. So in this chapter, we are going to learn about globalization and its importance in the Indian economy. Okay. So here you can see a picture wherein all the points are jotted down which are related to globalization. When globalization is there, you know, in our earth, when globalization is taking place, all these things are affected. Accountability, the shrinking of the world happens, the internet, technology and internet, free trade, culture, monopoly power, environment, growth, Brands, new different brands coming into existence, outsourcing, communication like this, all. So, all these are the different aspects where globalization plays the role. Okay, now, what is the impact of globalization in our country, in India? First, is there has been a greater competition among the producers. Whether it is local producers or foreign producers, there is greater competition because when globalization is there, different uh, factories or different outlets or whatever, the business producers are there, they are bringing their products into the global market. So everyone is in a competition to see that their product is winning the hearts of people, their product is getting more demand and their profit, their business increase and their profit also increase. So there is greater competition among the producers. And this is been, this has become one of the greatest advantage for we consumers also because we are getting any number of products from different different uh, names, different different brands and we are getting an option of choice. We are getting so many choices and from that we are getting so this globalization is playing a good role of it is an advantage of consumers to get good products and a reasonable price also because there is competition and the producers will always try to see that their products are in good demand in the market. There is a greater choice before these consumers who now enjoy improved quality and lower prices for several products. And foreign investment has also increased in terms of business, which is a great impact of which is the which we can say the impact of globalization in our country because we are getting lots of foreign investment and foreign investment has increased. The factors that have enabled globalization, technology is there, transportation technology is there, information and communication technology is there, telecommunication is there computer and internet. So these are some of the factors that have enabled the globalization. So if we are taking into consideration technology, the rapid improvement which has taken place in technology is one of the major factors which is stimulating the globalization process. And because of this rapid improvement in technology, 
there has been improvement in various other fields also like transportation technology in past 50 years whatever improvement we have seen in technology it has led to faster delivery of goods across long distances at lower cost that means because of this technology which has improved transportation we are getting goods from other countries also from longer distances at lower cost and it is also a faster delivery is happening okay next thing containers for transport of goods have led to huge reduction in port handling cost increase the speed with which goods can reach markets that means earlier when we had to transport goods from longer distances the way which people used is the port the ocs okay but now when we are having n number of containers for transport of goods whether it is roadways or seaways or airways also railways and all what we think is it has got huge reduction in the port handling cost and also the goods are reaching the market the speed has increased when the goods are reaching the market it's not taking much time because we are having so many different options and so many different opportunities through which goods can be brought into the market airlines the cost of air transport has fallen this has also enabled much greater volume of goods which can be transported through airlines because now we are having so many options so that the, the airline side also their transportation cost has also fallen down so people are having other challenges also information and communication technology that is it so it has also played a great major role in spreading out production of services across the country so here also when the technology is improving it is helping the countries to get more economic growth and more development there has been remarkable improvements because of uh, this uh, information technology in areas like telecommunications computers internet everything has got facilitated by the satellite communication devices the facilities like telegraph telephone including mobiles fax they all are used to contact around the world because as we know that now ours is a global market the world has got shrunk right? so all these telecommunication facilities are helping us to assess the information instantly and also to communicate not only in urban areas communicate in remote areas also so the communications are helping us in that computers and internet they have entered in almost all the fields everywhere computers have and internet have played their role the <coughs> internet they are allowing us to share the information on almost everything If you have any doubt in any aspect, you go to you go Google, Google it, research it. You get the information about that. So what is that? That is, they are helping. The technology is helping us to know about the world more properly. There is this is the impact of globalization. You can also send instant email can be sent, voice mail can be sent across the world at negligible cost. this computers internet and telecommunication which is a part of the world of improvement in technology they are playing a great role in the global market right now here you can see globalization the effect of globalization in society in politics in economy in environment in culture so this is just a diagram to show you that how globalization is playing their role in different aspects of different uh, areas in our country or in the world reasons and factors for the rapid transformation of the world in the global world in the global market so from here we will do it in the next class thank you